Yeah, lucky for me, I wasn't out there in the cold weather. I was at home watching the Masters and seeing Patrick Reed take home the green jacket. It was exciting, and luckily for the golfers, it was much warmer down in Georgia than it was here in Iowa City. And speaking of Iowa City, we played host to one of the biggest international wrestling tournaments in the world this weekend. The UWW World Cup was held in Carver Hawkeye Arena, where the Team USA dominated the field, taking home the gold medal. The United States won their three duels to make it to the gold medal round, where they wrestled Azerbaijan. But, they, but Azerbaijan was no match for the United States, who won 6-4 to four thanks to wins from Kendrick Maple, Logan Stever, Jordan Burroughs, Kyle Dake, David Taylor, and Kyle Snyder. This marked the first time Team USA had won a World Cup since 2003. Yeah, uh, team did a great job. Did a great job. Uh, wrestled hard. We knew uh, Azerbaijan was going to be very good, and we knew it was going to be a tough match, and uh, it was. I think our guys wrestled pretty well, and, and uh, yeah, I'm real happy. I'm happy for them, and happy for USA to uh, to bring the cut back. I was telling a lot of people this past week is like. When I wrestle here at the Olympic Trials, it's amazing. The stadium is packed. There's 12,000 people here. But the only people that are rooting for me have Burroughs as their last name, right? And so it's, it's really unique in that way. And it's good to have everyone cheering for you. You know, I wish Iran and Russia could have been here. It was very important for us to have those guys compete here, especially with Iran being the reigning champs for, I believe, five years in a row. But, you know, we did what we can, and we were prepared, and we were here, ready for this moment. And I think we're going to be able to pull it out tonight. You know, this is a crazy atmosphere. You know, I it's packed, packed the gills. Hopefully, next time we have it here, it'll be even more people. So the crowd's amazing, and and they're great for the sport. And and for me as a competitor, you know, I love wrestling here. Tune in tomorrow as DITV's wrestling reporter Bo Bowman will have more from the UWW World Cup. The Iowa baseball team fought the winter weather this weekend when they hosted Big Ten opponent Ohio State. In Saturday's doubleheader, the Buckeyes took game one 2-1, but Iowa came out swinging in the second game and got the win 9-5. And on Sunday in the series clinching game, Cole McDonald registered a career-high eight strikeouts against the Buckeyes and gave up only one single run. In the bottom of the second, Kyle Crow hit a sacrificial fly that sent home Austin Guzzo for the score to put Iowa up by one run. In the bottom of the eighth, with the score tied at one, Grant Judkins hit an RBI single to send Kyle Kral home and give Iowa the 2-1 lead. Hawks took this game 2-1 and clinched their sixth straight Big Ten series. Honestly, it just kind of feels like I'm almost used to it. We've been playing in some cold weather lately. Uh, so you just kind of figure out how you want to warm up, get a good sweat going, and then, I mean, I was nice and loose, and thankfully I pitched a good game and gave our, gave our team a chance to win. So. Can't really complain with that. It was, it was a really big series, and, and today's today's game, you know, every pitch mattered, every single one of them. And on a day when the offense, you know, wasn't clicking really for either team, I mean, largely in part because of their pitching, um, you know, for us to find a way to get a win um, for down the road, this was a big one, and, and it showed a lot of character and a lot of toughness. Um, you know, poor conditions for for both teams, uh, but we found a way to get it done in the end. Iowa will be on the road this weekend as they'll face off against Nebraska. And hopefully they'll get some better baseball weather in Lincoln. On Sunday, the Iowa softball team capped a three-game series against the Wisconsin Badgers in Iowa City with a 5-3 win, shutting out the Badgers in the process. In the bottom of the third, Allie Wood hit the first of two home runs that tied it up at two runs each. And in the bottom of the sixth, Iowa's Angela Schmiederer hit her first home run of the season over the left field fence and sent the Hawkeyes home, giving Iowa a 5-3 victory. The Hawks took this series over the Badgers 3-0 and earned their first series sweep since 2013. You know, I was excited that we were able to get that done today. Uh, we haven't swept teams um, in a while, and uh, to sweep a, a good Wisconsin program, that's not easy to do. And they came out ready to fight and battle today, and we knew that we'd have a battle on our hands. And uh, we stepped up, took a couple of blows, but then we punched back and got the knockout punch there in the, in the sixth inning with the three-run home run. Like the baseball team, the softball team will head to Lincoln, where they'll face the Huskers in a doubleheader this Tuesday. That's all from us today in the sports studio. But be sure to tune in tomorrow for more from the UWW Wrestling World Cup. Guys at the desk, back to you.